Well, I'm going to use a size 12, um, 170 on this one. Great or one. if you've got uh, a B100, it really doesn't make uh, a great deal of difference. It's just, uh, again, we're, we're talking about the technique rather than the uh, actual pattern. If you like your um, shuttlecock nymphs tied on a on a sort of curved. Ooh, nice. A lot of different um, styles we can add to this. Um, hasn't got to be this particular pattern at all, but uh, we're just starting off with uh, some gray tying silk. And Great. I'm going, yeah. Because really I can't cool. find the black. Okay, black. we're all right with black. That's black the only black. reason why. All right. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of fine pearl mylar, uh, pearl tinsel. I've just stretched it slightly. Just winding it up to a point where we're going to make a thorax. But before that, we're just going to wind this around with the little rib. Tie it off. Now, what I would do at this point is put a couple of half hitches in and give it a dose of varnish. So let's do that. Varnish on. This varnish has I'm a little bit sticky, but uh, is that Sally and no. that's hard as nails. Sally Hansen's hard as nails. Yeah. So what that does is just protect the the body and the tinsel from teeth, and in Blue Peter fashion, here's one I've done earlier. It's got a kind of little bit of varnish on it. So we can start off again. And what we're going to do is to tie in some CDC feathers. Now, if you haven't come across them before. They are like so. And what I'm going to do is just put, say, three together. Don't need to put too many. But make sure that the, the tips all meet. Not sure if that's quite clear enough there. But all the tips are the same length. So Doesn't matter about the other end. You've got, you've got and to be in a stack there, haven't you, Mark? That's not one feather to the uninitiated. That's, sorry, that's three of them I've put together. And all the tips are lined up. Yeah. So what we do now is turn them over because what we're going to do is to fold them over the thorax in that direction. So what we want to do is to tie them in with the, the dull side, the concave side uppermost. And just bear in mind when you tie them in, they're going to go over. So you don't want them too long. Okay. So Just going to tie those down tightly. Yeah. Thank you. Cut them off. And 
for this, I'm just going to use a little bit of squirrel dubbing with the thorax. And squelch it up into a ball. So you can see I've just left a little bit of a gap at the front. The reason is because I'm going to bring these fibers over. Wow. Tie them in place and put one turn underneath, one over the back and one underneath again, because we're going to take another little piece of See a uh, squirrel fur, just a little tiny half of that. Just a little bit more. And just put another two turns of fur underneath to cock that CDC wing up. That came out wrong, actually. <laughs> I'm not trying to cock the wing up. <laughs> you recognise that fly, Frank? Yeah, definitely. Do you? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Welcome, yeah, yeah. by the way, Frank. So, so Cheers. I'm... Thank you. I've just got back, to be honest. Back to Rutland. Oh. Okay. So we can just give that a little bit of a tease up. And that's the shuttlecock buzzer. Um, I much prefer to tie it with the, the wing just pointing out without the over the back really sort of thing. But uh, it does the same job. It's just a little bit more uh, involved tying it over the uh, over the back. That looks very good and buggy. Mm. Yeah. That's a grey body, is it? With, uh, that's been wow. that's just grey tying silk. But you know, I mean the. You can tie any colour you like. I've got orange. I've got a few. I've just been tying up a red, black, and you know, use wire. Use anything you like. Um, you can even use, you know, different seals for if you don't want to, it to look quite like a, a buzzer. If you want to look like um, just an ordinary hatching insect of some description. What, what, what was the green one that you held up, Mark? Those those went by in a flash, those patterns. <laughs> 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 they, they, they got shown and taken away very quickly. That one? Yes. What is that green thread or is it chartreuse or? Um, that is, it's a sort of yellow chartreuse thread I got from a the guide wire of a um, a tent. Ah, believe it or not, it's a but, bit fluorescent. Um, yeah. It is fluorescent. Yes. Shall we run through the same again? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please. All yeah, right. Looking, yeah. Okay. Looking forward to it. So we'll start off just by running some thread on. Shank. Incidentally, I'm not sure I was going to bring in a few sort of other little sort of tips and, and one thing and another. I always put the um, the ring finger into the loop of my, my scissors. If you can do that rather than 
um, the, the index finger, you get more control over using the scissors. If I can sh show you like this. Mm. So that's the way you would cut your hair, Huey. <laughs> so if you use your yeah, ring nothing. finger or the middle finger, it makes no difference, but uh, trying to get into the habit of using your scissors that way, you get a lot more control. And uh, can you keep them in your hand when you're doing that, Mark? I have heard people giving that advice. I would say, because what you can do is twist them around. If you want to end up with the points in your palm or in your eyeball or something, I, I would say no, to be honest. Fair enough. Put the, put the scissors down. So we're going to put in a little bit of pearl tinsel, which I've, I've just stretched out actually. I'll tie that in. So Mark, you've stretched that out actually to make it thinner for those. Uh... That's right, and it, it changes color as well. By doing so. So, if you're into the detail, that's probably just looking at it a bit slimmer than a size 16 you'd get on a pearl mylar rib. It might be just a bit slimmer than that mark. Yeah. And just run up touching turns to a point where you would make a thorax. And we're just going to run even space turns tie that off now ordinarily what I would do is tie this off with a couple of half hitches and then add a bit of varnish leave it overnight and then start again but uh, taking that as done we're now going to take the cdc and with with um all feathers there's a sort of a shiny side and a dull side so we're going to use the, the shiny side and place them so the tips meet. Let's get one more. Three on here. So that's uh, three feathers, Frank. Mark's uh, squashing together three CDC yeah. feathers. And wow. um, yeah. he's lining up the tips okay. there. All right. Yeah. Now what we do, because we want the feathers to sit the right way if we tied them in that way and we're going to push them back over it'll mean that the dull side is uppermost so what we do is turn them around so the dull side there is uppermost when we tie it in just be aware you don't need to tie them too long so i'm just going to come back just a little way and put a couple of turns in there to hold me in place and then we'll cut these off so you're cutting those off in stages mark not in one go yeah it's only because the, the scissors are Aging like me. Oh. <laughs> so I think those feathers on the dull side, uh, they, if, uh, correct me if I'm not correct, Mark, but they, they also, that's the natural curve of the feather is facing. Yeah. The yeah. So the, yeah, the, the curve is, is very much like uh, any other hackle. 
it's on the shiny side it's convex the dull side is concave Mark, so if you just oh. zoom that out a little bit, you've got the tips of the feathers pointing up, are they? Yeah, because what we're going to do is now bring, <coughs> it, over, bring it over once I've done the, the thorax. Just bring these over like so. One, two, underneath, and then just get a little tiny scrape of seals for. Uh, <clears throat> School for, and then just go underneath. Now another little trick: if I come too far forward, and I can't get any more fur, a feather in behind the eye, put the hook <coughs> set well back in the vise, so you won't get point uh, the the point in your finger, and with your thumb. Just push it back. So now I've got a little bit more space to play with. Look at that. And you can do that with, with all situations. Just make sure you put the vice of the, the hook right the way back in the vice. Awesome. And I noticed you supported the hook as well, Mark. You just didn't push your hook. Yeah. Come straight on there. And tying that up by doing the, the fur in front of the uh, CDC, just cocks it up a little bit to uh, set it straight. There, we'll scroll around, and that's it. Very nice. Mm. So again, you know, so many variations. I'm sure you, you late boys will uh, know all of these anyway, but uh, handy pattern. Definitely. Mark, would you just mind moving the camera up slightly? I think we've got to, uh, please. Uh, Where? Yeah, just the right a smidge, please. Oh, we just get the whole flying frame. So the one you tied while I wasn't here, you've done that with the CDC looking forward. You've done that. You haven't bent that over, no? No, 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 no. Oh. If, 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 you, if you've got... Uh, if I take the fly out. If you take a CDC feather... Yeah. That's with the the good side, what I call the good side facing us. Yeah. If I turn it round, that's the the back of the feather. The dull side. The, the dull side, that's it. Yeah. So if I turn it like that, you can now see there's a bit of a a curve to it. Yeah. Yeah. So if I turn it round to face you now, that's the good side. Now, I like the feather to be tied in with the dull side up. Yeah. And then when it goes over. over, when it goes over, it's the good side, if you like. Yeah. It really doesn't make an a ounce of difference, but it, it just looks nicer. Mm. because if you tie it that way it will go up and it'll yeah. point up it's more with a natural curve of the feather isn't it yeah, the yeah. Of the curve. I, I've got some uh, just red cock hackles here so you can see the natural curve what Mark's talking about there if 
Once yeah. that in profile the curve, you're putting that on the hook like that and then folding it over with its with its own natural curve. Correct me if I'm incorrect, Mark. <laughs> so how many C D uh have you got there? Three. Three, yeah. I've only got three on there. It's a, it's a fairly lightweight hook. Um, if I was using a heavier hook, obviously I'd put a few more on. But you, right. you can over you can over egg it to a point where you know the CDC just twists around and it um, it um, doesn't do anything. Hmm. I mean, as long as that will float, which which I'm sure it will. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem. And CDC is not cheap. Believe me, it's not no. cheap. And, and you can tie those on a curved hook, you were saying, Mark, as well. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you want to use a, a, a sort of grubber hook. I like the I got, I got some very cheap C CDC just a while ago. Black market? No. From, <laughs> <laughs> no, from Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like that on the grubber hook there mark that yeah but i mean i i went on the, on the grubber hook i tend to tie it in just paint pointing forward and then put a thorax on the back so without doing the the hump over oh, okay that's what easy. i mean when i when i was asking the question yeah that that one that's forward, you're tying that in with the feathers over the top, rather than bending it over like you did. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, that's a lot easier. It's a lot yeah. easier to tie it like that. To oh, be honest. Yeah, would that's you, the way I'll do it. To be yeah, I mean, bringing it over the back. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that doesn't bring anything to the party at all. To be honest, Just, it makes the thorax though thicker, doesn't it? Which is more natural, I think. Yeah, it's a nice but, thing. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Well, would you would you mind um, showing uh, quickly just the one on the curve hook, please? Would you mind uh, with a sort so you're not bending it over, just so there's a there's an easy easy starter option, yeah. please. <laughs> okay, so I've got a, a fourteen. Um, Okay, let's use the one ten. Is that a one ten or one? That's a one ten. Yeah, with a barb, Michael. <laughs> Your pleasure. Oh, the bobbin just slipped. Oh, let's take it back. So we can take that right the way down now. Find a bit of little tinsel. Touching turns all the way back up. Ah, sorry. He's human after all. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Let's go again. I think what happened as much as anything, I took the my ordinary glasses on to find the hooks. <laughs> no, I, I need my other glasses. There we go. So, as I say, what I would normally do now is is varnish that in in place and take it off the vice and 
leave it overnight. But, uh, just just the one coat of Sally Hansen's hard of nails. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Yeah, there's there's no need to uh, do any more. No. So I'm just matching up some CDC. I've got three CDC feathers here. I'm just matching the, the tips up. So. So the way I would normally tie this is you want the, the good side facing up. Just tie those in place. Snip them off. So the curve of the feather actually was going down there, Mark, if I could see yeah. facing the ceiling. Okay. That's it. Because it's the, the good side facing up. Yeah. And nice fly. Yeah. I'll just run up, make a thorax. Covering the, the, the stubs and then lift them up and a couple of turns. In front of the CDC. And there we are. All over the way. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. You know, I'm only contracted for two flies here, Will. <laughs> <laughs> There'll have to be something in the post from you. <laughs> I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Give that a little scrub up. I like to scrub the, the fur right the way up the wing. Can just mix it up. There we go. That's that's the boy. That's a little bit shinier than what it would appear if you um, varnish it. But uh, there we go. Nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah. That sticks up quite, quite, uh, quite high. That uh, uh, at a sort of what is it, thirty, thirty-five degree angle or something like that. That feather, but the body will sit in the water there and the, the feather will be proud of yeah. it. Yeah. What, what size would they fish on the lakes there, Frank? Were they 14 or 12? No, do you know when they're on the in the weeds, they sometimes fish an eight. Really massive. They, right, okay. With, with a... Yeah, with silver, if they're representing the Crixa, and then you basically, if you see a cruising fish, you sort of clip it. So it disappears yeah. down and then pops back up again. Yeah, yeah. They come and eat it. Thank well, that's you. the theory anyway. Just while yeah. uh, Mark, uh, thank you for that, Frank. Just while Mark okay. is uh, finishing finishing off there, um, I should mention, which I should have at the start, that we're being very kindly sponsored, not only by Famous Fishing, but we're now being sponsored by all this. Uh, oh, wow. Well. So, um, very kind of them, and uh, watch this space uh, on the on the last lesson. We have some goodies for everybody. <laughs> I finished. I'm trying. The, I'm tying the second one, but I did finish the first one. As well. Good. Well done, Mark. <clears throat> Are you enjoying what you're doing? Yeah, loving it. Oh. Great. Good. God, I'll tie the gold okay. one as well because it looks yeah. quite quite cheap. The that's when you tie the shuttlecock with the um, CDC over the thorax, it's very difficult to gauge how big that wing is going to turn out. So yeah. that's why I prefer to 
do it the, the second way. You can actually gauge how long the wing is going to be. If you make those, if you make that CDC too long, can you cut that? You could do, but it. it I mean, the the ideal for most flies, if you can not cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's better. I've tried it when sometimes when I've done them too long, I've cut them like how a hairdresser does it. He sort sure, of looks down yeah. on the feather like that. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I mean, there are obviously, you know, loads and loads of circumstances where you do cut feathers, but on the whole, it, it it's better if you, you don't. Yeah. Uh, Mark, I, uh, Mark Thomas, I was just a bit slow on the um, pinning you there. Um, would you mind holding up your fly again? And good evening, Paul. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Glenn. Right, it's, uh, it's going well, Paul. We'll just have a look at Mark's fly. If you don't mind, Mark. Uh, it looks not. Good. No, it's fine. Um. Oh, nice. Oh, nice very too. nice. She's um, no, she's good. I think she'd go. Great. I think the feathers have got away a little bit, but you know, okay. Not, not they bad out they the gate. have a tendency to twist as well. They, you know, you gotta be, yeah. That's why if you put too many on, they will they will twist. But, uh, nice. Very great good. stuff. 